The first thing um, that I recall is the excitement we had, even looking forward to the Passover, to the retelling of the Passover story, to going through this Haggadah every single year as a family, as an extended family. We never got bored. We would celebrate, we'd go through the Haggadah and the ceremony maybe an hour and a half before we ever ate. And none of us children ever said, Ma, where's the food? No, we loved it. I hardly remember where I was in this photo, but this is a Seder. This is a Passover Seder. Look at this little boy. Ugh, that's the, he just took the bitter herbs. See, the first thing here, right on the title page, as it is said, you shall tell your child on that day. That's what happened with the Passover. Um, um, we would pray, Baruch Ato Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olav Ohaolam Baruch Prey Hagaf, and blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us the fruit from the earth, which makes the wine. And every year, uh, the, the big thing, the biggie, was waiting for Mashiach, the Messiah, to come. It was the privilege of one of the children to go to the door, peek into the hallway to see if Messiah had come. And the year that stands out in my mind is the year it was my turn to go to the door, and I did. And I don't know what my expectation was, but I know that I hardly made it to the door because my little 11-year-old legs were shaking so that I could hardly stand up. And my heart stopped as I peeked into the hallway, and it was empty. So I looked, and it was an empty hallway, because where is the Messiah gonna come but to the 12th floor of our apartment in Brooklyn? Come on. So I looked back to the table, and I said to them, Messiah hasn't come. And we would go on with the Seder, and we would sing next year in Jerusalem, because when he comes, he's going to set up his kingdom, he's going to rule and reign, there's going to be peace. And uh, so we would sing, all right, he didn't come this year, he'll come next year. Every single year we waited. And I remember going to bed as that little 11-year-old, lying with my eyes open, I didn't doubt God, but inside was a longing, a pain, I don't know what to call it. And we'd have to fast forward 20 years. The night I entered the church, Easter Vigil 1995, I don't quite know what happened. I went up to receive the Eucharist for the first time. How I didn't perish, I don't know. How I could receive God and not perish, I don't know. I, I, I took a chance. I could have perished. The only thing that I could think of is that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob Who's, who no man can look on and live is being placed on my tongue. And I know I went back to my seat and sobbed the rest of the service, the rest of the mass. I don't know what happened, but. Eucharist means Thanksgiving. There'll never be enough eternities to thank him. There'll never be enough minutes to live for him. There'll never, ever be enough.